Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here in part six of our mini series on the three testaments of our Father, talking about the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Third Testament. In this series, we've covered why there are three testaments of the Bible, where the Third Testament came from, and its significance and importance. Well, this will be the last part in this particular mini series. And it too is talking about the significant role of the Third Testament and how it will prevail as one of the most significant writings of this era. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Looking here at verse 32 out of chapter 38, which says, In vain will many men say that this doctrine is new, or that it has no relation to divine revelations given to you in the past. I assure you that what I have told you in this time through the conduit of human understanding has its roots and foundation in that which was prophesied in the first and second times. Talking about the first and second errors. This is actually the third error that we are entering in now. That's why we have a third testament of the Bible. Each time humanity goes through one of these significant changes, we're given a new document or new instructions that tell us how to live in these new eras. But notice here that it says many men will vainly try to detract from the scripture saying that it is new or that it has no relation to that what was given in the Old Testament and the New Testament. This is not the case at all. This Third Testament is actually what helps us to understand the Old Testament and the New Testament. We have been told and we understand now that many of the stories given in the Old Testament were living parables. Well, in the Third Testament, it starts to break down those parables and helps us to understand why they went through what they went through and how their example is to be played out in our lives and during our time, just in a spiritual nature. That's why it says that this writing has its foundation in the Old Testament and the New Testament. This book is actually the fulfillment of many prophecies that were given in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Verse 33 says, but the confusion of which I tell you will arise because they who who have interpreted those revelations have imposed their analyses on humanity. And these analyses have been in part correct and in part mistaken. In other words, they got some things right, but they got some things wrong and have misinterpreted some things. And this is the cause of their confusion. Like we said, the Third Testament is bringing a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding well, before the Third Testament, many people, many ministers just filled in the blanks or just made stuff up or just repeated what they heard other people say, which sounded good. But those misinterpretations are now causing confusion because people wanted to believe those. And now that they see conflicts in their understanding, they are quick to discredit the scripture, this Third Testament, and say that it is not the same doctrine or that it is different. Verse 33 goes on to say, it also will be because the spiritual light of my teachings has been hidden from men and at times has been given out in adulterated form. Talking about the veil that was upon mankind and it still is. The truth has not all been made clear to us. Humanity just really is not ready for a full understanding of everything that's going on. And so a lot of the information was held back by the Elohim who would have been responsible for some of this adulteration. You've heard people mistakenly say that our father is not the author of confusion. This is not the case. We understand when we read verses like, Second Thessalonians in chapter two, which talks about the strong delusion being given to those who prefer unrighteousness. People who didn't want to follow the law or the commands or the statutes or the judgments, but yet wanted to teach the word of God was given over to this strong delusion. 
and was led to believe a lie by the Elohim. Well, this is what the Third Testament is talking about, this adulterated form where these people believed in their heart that they was actually teaching truth, but they was actually teaching falsehoods and misunderstandings. But anyway, it goes on to say, that is why now when my light has come to rescue you from the darkness of your ignorance, many men deny that this can be the light of truth because it does not by their criteria accord with what I taught you before. So they were given over to strong delusion. And then when the truth is presented to them, it comes across as error. It comes across as being untrue because it doesn't meet their criteria. But again, we have to remember that because they preferred unrighteousness and was in rejection of the Old Testament laws and rules, they were given over to delusion and an adulterated form of the scripture in the first place. So it is no doubt that the truth when presented to them will not meet the criteria or will not be in accord with what they have learned before. This is why we have to put scripture ahead of our own understanding. Scripture is always accurate and anything outside of scripture is subject to be wrong. And if we don't understand that simple fact, we can and will be led astray by those who prefer unrighteousness. But anyway, Verse 34 says, I'll assure you that none of my words will be lost and that the men of this time will come to know what I said to them in times past. Then when the world knows spirituality, it will say, truly, our Messiah said all of this. So notice here this transition here that is being talked about when it says when the world knows spirituality. This is that seventh seal stuff that's being talked about here when humanity makes the transition in the twinkling of an eye, when we meet our father in the clouds and we are spiritually awakened. Well, it is then when all of the third testament and all of the rest of the testaments, even the laws will start to make sense to people. That's what he means when he says every eye shall see him. Everybody will get this understanding. Everybody will all of a sudden understand what the truth is because we will be changed in this manner, becoming spiritual minded people when the spiritual valley moves closer to man. So even though they are rejecting the scripture now, it's going to become truthful to them soon enough. Now, verse 35 says, yes, I said it all before, though of many of the revealed truths, I had shown only the principles. I left them for you to begin to understand, for in that time, humanity was not yet prepared to understand all that I have now come to show you fully. This is referred to our spiritual growth. It's important to understand that we have to or we had to evolve spiritually there's no such thing as material evolution when it comes to humans we have evolved spiritually over time which explains why we had to have three testaments why everything wasn't given to us at one time is because we had to grow to learn to live within each one of the testaments the old testament we learned the law the New Testament, we learn love. And in this Testament, we learn light or spiritual things like communicating properly with our father and even with nature and such. Humanity wasn't really prepared for that kind of information before now. But praise our father in heaven. Hallowed be his name. We have this third testament of the Bible that's helping us to understand how to control the elements and how to speak telepathically and teaching us all about heaven and hell and where our departed loved ones are and how we can communicate with them. All of this information and much more is covered in the third testament of the Bible, which you can find a link to in the description of this video, both an audio and a PDF that you could download to your computer, even links to where you can actually purchase a copy for yourself. 
And with that, I'm going to close out this mini series on the three testaments of the Bible. So leave me a comment if you got anything out of this video and I'll see you down in the comment section. Shalom.